Welcome to our Blue Streak broadcast, April edition. Today, we continue our parts of mass discussions with the source and summit of our liturgy, the Liturgy of the Eucharist. We believe in the Catholic faith that Jesus is truly present as body and blood, soul and divinity in the Eucharist. This miracle happens during the Liturgy of the Eucharist, which begins with the offering of gifts. The priest then speaks an invitation of prayer that models our Old Testament Jewish blessing. Our response is, blessed be God forever. And then we say, may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. This response is ancient and very biblical. We then stand and continue. With a dialogue that goes back to 215 AD, in this too many for the Eucharistic prayer, I'll say the priest part, and you, say the response. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Then we say, or sing, the, the sanctus or holy, holy, which is from Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3. We usually kneel to recall the words of our Lord in the institution of the Eucharist. This is the point of consecration, to make holy, and the transubstantiation, where God works from the priest to change the substance from bread and wine to the body of the blood of Christ. We sing or say the mystery of faith during this prayer, and what a mystery it is. This miracle happens right here with us in every Mass. We stand with the great Amen, say the Our Father together, then we offer a sign of peace to our brothers and sisters before we sing the Lamb of God in you. And now we receive the body of Jesus in communion. And of course, our response is, Amen, Amen. because we do believe. Thank you for watching our series. And may we conclude our discussion with the concluding rites. And now an interview with Mr. Vining. Kennedy. What music cow is kindergarten through third grade doing? They were doing a program uh, called A Night at the Stage Door Canteen, and it's themed about um, songs that are from the World War II era. So we made it like an old-fashioned live radio broadcast, and we sang lots of traditional songs from that era. What did fourth and fifth grade do? Fourth graders learned to play the recorder, which is traditional in music ed, and then uh, the fifth graders do handbells. What are you doing to prepare for the Frozen play? Frozen's a lot of work. There's rehearsals, you know about those. We're doing lots of rehearsing um, and learning lines and memorizing and staging. And I've started working on the technical things. We have beautiful slides that were originally created for the, for the original Broadway show. They're beautiful animated slides. And then we're um, also starting to do tech. So making appointments to meet with costume people. So there's a lot that goes into it. Why did you choose that play for the mini music house? Um, we had done it a couple of years. Oh, it's been about 10 years, I guess. But um, it's a cute show and it's, it sort of honors veterans and it's a salute to our armed forces. And also it gives the students a chance to learn some history. Every piece of music has some history behind it. It's a reflection of what the culture is doing at the time it was written. So there's lots of that. So they learn a lot more than just the songs. Why, are fourth, why did fourth and fifth graders do instruments while the other grades did play? It's a good time in their development to learn how to, the, the fingerings, the hand uh, movements, and the hands of bells, reading music. So these are parts of the curriculum. And so it's a good time to introduce that and also get that uh, checked off as something that they've learned to do. Why did you choose to do the Frozen play? I've been wanting to do Frozen for a long time, and as it is with every musical, I'm looking at my students and trying to find out whether I have the people to do a show. I can't do a show if I don't have the singers. So I kind of look at who's, who's available, who did a really great job last time, and, and then I, I, I've been wanting to do it, so I was really excited that I had the, the, the right chemistry to do, to do Frozen. How did you decide what each person part was going to get? I listen to each person sing, and I listen to them read, and then I look at the vocal range of the song, and um, a little bit about their personalities. Are they bubbly? Are they shy? And um, sometimes people surprise me. And I always say, 
that sometimes the student makes the part, sometimes the part makes the student. So there's a growing up that happens when you do a play. It, there's a whole lot of things that you learn. It's a fun way to learn the things that we do. Who is performing in the Frozen musical? Sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And we've got a wonderful cast. I'm very, very pleased with all the parts. Thank you, Mr. Vining and Kennedy. Last Friday, the 8th grade class is getting CPR certified and Swift A certified. This is important because you can have the skills and knowledge to help people in need. The 8th graders are of the age when babysitting jobs will become available, so it is helpful to know what to do if something happens. This is a great skill to have because it benefits the community. The STV staff are also working on certification to be a heart safe school. Welcome to Hawaii Happenings. Excuse me. Yesterday was Thursday. What do you think you could do to make the world a better place? We could use the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Uh, when you're cutting down a tree, every tree you cut down, you can plant three more. Thank you. Excuse me. Yesterday was Thursday. What do you think you could do to help the world? Clean up flowers. Thank you. Imagine Creation Night is coming up on Thursday, April 25th from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock here at St. Vincent de Paul School. There will be many activities including painting rocks and color pinatas. There will be an area that you can take photos in front of a Van Gogh painting. There will also be a station to make bookmarks and one for creating a mini book. There will also be a book walk for a dollar in oil pastel painting. And finally, there will be lemonade and cookies for people to enjoy. Families are invited to join our creative night. Landon, in your project, middle school students have found a way to bring each other's day. They are starting a compliment board, which are small notes that are positive and meant to spread kindness. It is on the middle school side of the building. Even though it is middle schoolers who are writing the compliments, everyone in the school can benefit from these compliments. All you need to have to put something on the board is paper and something to write with and a kind thing to say. At the end of, at the, end of the school year, the top compliments will be chosen. Then they will be printed to hang in the bathrooms. I think we can both agree that this is a great way to show our up appreciation for what it Yes, is. hopefully everyone who sees it will walk away with a smile on their face. May crowning is a tradition where Catholics celebrate the crowning of Mary as Queen of Heaven. That is where a crown of flowers is placed on her head, symbolizing rebirth and spring. The point of May crowning is to honor the Mother of God and the Mother of the Church. May crowning is on the 1st of May after the 8.30 Mass if you would like to celebrate with us, 